Today I'll be replacing the ignition key switch on this Chinese scooter. Scooters are probably the most neglected motor vehicles out there. People don't store them properly, they tend to lose the keys and the title, and if you're trying to fix one up, it's always a mess. The previous owner of this scooter copied the key and lost the original. That would be okay, except for they used the wrong type of key. I can barely turn this key, and I can't open the seat compartment. I'm going to start by removing the front fairing to access the key switch. This is different for every scooter. This one has 11 screws holding it on. Pull the front fairing off and disconnect the headlight. Next, remove the key bezel. Loosen the two bolts holding the switch using a 10 millimeter wrench and pull it out. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screw holding the seat release cable and take out the cable cover. Now I can pull the seat release cable out. Let's inspect the ignition switch. It has a six pin connector with five terminals in it, a steering lock feature, and a seat release cable. The bolt spacing is 64 millimeters. I'm starting my search at partsforscooters.com. These guys are in Florida and have a huge selection of Chinese scooter parts. Three pages of ignition switches and mine is not one of them. Okay, Scrappy Dog Scooters is also a good company from Las Vegas. I didn't find it here. Let's see what eBay says. That actually looks exactly like what I need. $50 is a bit high for a Chinese ignition switch, but I don't have a choice here. And just three days later, here it is. Thanks eBay. Let's compare these parts. Connectors are the same. Bolt spacing is right. It has the seat cable thing. It's the right part. Sweet. A little bit of grease and tri-flow will keep things nice and smooth. And let's install that switch, starting with the seat cable. Turn the key left, and it opens. All right. Put the cover clip thing on and wiggle that key switch into place. The lower bolt on this one is hard to reach. I pulled on the plastic a bit to get to it. Next, plug in the connector and install the key trim because it needs to look pretty. And let's give it a little test. Yes, it works. Push the key down and turn it to engage the handlebar lock. Everything is okay, so I can put the scooter back together. These plastic panels don't always fit perfectly, so a good technique is to install all the screws loosely, make sure the fairing is lined up, then finish tightening the screws. All right, that's it. Now my scooter works. So I'm gonna be really cool, have a lot of friends, I'm gonna have fun all the time.